Hey everyone, this is Ty and welcome back to the channel. Holy cow, it feels so good being out and riding on this Lowrider ST. I'm telling you, here near where I'm at, Chattanooga, Tennessee, man, it has rained for about two weeks straight. Now the sun started poking out from behind the clouds a little bit and me and my wife were talking and she's like, go get on the motorcycle when you can. It's supposed to rain for the next week. So that's exactly what I'm doing and uh, trying to get a couple of videos made in the process. So I figured what we would talk about today is this Lowrider ST. I get a lot of great questions and comments from my subscribers on this motorcycle. And this motorcycle, it is so fine. It is so fine. So I get a lot of information from you guys. And so I thought what I would do is put together a video, five reasons to choose the Lowrider ST in five minutes. Are you guys ready? Start the clock and let's go. The first thing that I can think of is the very first thing that we attracts us to our motorcycles. And that's, how do they look? You know, you don't want a crappy looking motorcycle. And this motorcycle looks awesome. It looks awesome sitting still. It looks even better going down the road. This fairing is something else, guys. I, pr I give this fairing so many high praises and it does the job. It is great. But just the way this motorcycle looks, I love the black, I love the vivid black, I love being able to black out this motorcycle. It brings me much joy. Say joy! Joy! And uh, I absolutely love it. So point number one would have to be the motorcycle just looks fine. The second thing would have to be this. Look up the specs of this motorcycle and tell me what you think. The specs of this motorcycle, man, put it in a class all of its own, if you ask me. So you're talking about with this motorcycle, you get the Milwaukee 8 117, weighing in around, what, 729-ish pounds, something like that. The motorcycle is lightweight with a ton of power. Not only that, but you get a 5.1 gallon tank getting you 43 miles per gallon. You can uh, almost hang in there with some of the big baggers like the Street Glide and the Road Glide. They've got a six gallon tank, but whatever. And then you've got this heavy breather. So many people have paid extra money to get those heavy breathers installed on their motorcycle. But with a Lowrider ST, you don't have to worry about that. It is there for you from the factory. I just love that. So get on Harley's website, check out the specs of this motorcycle, and let me know what you think, because I think it's worth every penny. While we're talking about being worth every penny, the third reason I can think of that you need a Lowrider ST is the price point of this motorcycle. So with everything that you get, all those specs that we just talked about, you're talking about, uh, what, 21000 and change, $21,749, if I'm remembering right. I might be off a little bit, but for $21,000, a brand new Harley Davidson motorcycle with everything we just discussed. Can you believe that? I mean, I have paid double that for a motorcycle that is sitting in my garage right now, and I would rather be on this Lowrider ST any day of the week. So price out Harley-Davidson motorcycles. The Lowrider ST is gonna be very, very cost worthy at that price point. And uh, I don't think you can go wrong. Check it out. Something else I love about this motorcycle is you can build it out any way you want. Yeah, I know you can do that with every other motorcycle that's out there, but there's something special about this Lowrider ST. And what do I mean by that? You know, <clears throat> I like the aggressive nature. I like the aggressive look of the Lowrider ST. I like being able to do more, um, more accessories and more upgrades for this motorcycle that's based not just on comfort, but on looks and power and just fun. You know, 
I think that is exceptional. And that is one of the reasons I love this. I love seeing what everybody else is doing to their soft tails, getting ideas, collaborating with people, sharing ideas, and doing them whatever you want to your bike. It's been a fun, fun build on this Lowrider ST. And then last but not least would be this. What do you want to use this motorcycle for? If you want to go, uh, if you want to do touring, if you want to do commuting back and forth to work, if you just want to do around town riding or weekend riding, the Lowrider ST can most certainly accommodate you with whatever you want to do. And that's some of the things that I'm going to be doing. So I'm going to get, come springtime, I'm going to get this motorcycle tour worthy for some trips. Now I've seen a lot of people put uh, tour packs, chop tour packs on the Lowrider ST. You know, I say good for them. It's not my thing. I don't really like it for this bike, so I'm not going to get one. But I am going to get a big old fluffy sundowner seat with a sissy bar that I can attach some luggage to. And then, boom, this motorcycle is ready to go tour with. And anytime you can mix in sport, touring, commuting, long distance riding, it's going to be a fine motorcycle. So point number five, right there. Now shut off the clock. Oh man, well I tried to blast through all those points and give you guys enough information that you could make sense out of it. I hope that I was able to do that for you. So I'll tell you what, if you've got a Lowrider ST and you love the motorcycle, whatever you think about it, let me know in the comments below. Also, if you don't mind, hit that thumbs up, show your support for the channel, take a look at uh, what I've got out there, and maybe consider subscribing. I hope you guys have an excellent day, and we'll talk to you again soon.